Hey Falcons, welcome back. We are working with our chicken stock that we made uh, the other day. Uh, I also have some focaccia bread that I'm working on, so we're just working on a little lunch. So we're gonna have a, a little chicken soup and some focaccia bread uh, for lunch. I think it's gonna be great. We're still in this uh, social isolation stage uh, and working through it. So we're hanging on, we're getting it. So I'm gonna start, I got uh, some veggies here that I'm gonna break down and then some chicken. Uh, I left the stock uh, the way it was the other day. So the other day we made the stock and I put it into the mason jars uh, to cool off. Uh, and you can see the tops of those uh, they have a little fat cap on it, and that's great. Um, so we extracted some real good uh, flavor out of that as well. So uh, I, I do have uh, a couple of other seasonings that we're going to add uh, later. And I have the world's tiniest scrap bowl once again. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself, but whatever. I will figure it out. Maybe that's my my crazy coming out. I don't know, whatever. All right, so with our carrot, uh, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do little uh, coins down here at the end. And my general rule of thumb when I'm making a soup is that I'm not gonna put anything uh, into my soup that's bigger than what would fit on a spoon. And the reason why is because typically when you're eating soup, uh, you're just gonna have a, uh, you're gonna have a spoon, right? So I'm not gonna give you a knife with your soup, so I'm not gonna give you any big uh, chunks. So we'll do a few coins, and then we'll cut these uh, here and break this down. Again, the general idea, same thickness on everything. We're gonna do the same thing with our celery and our onions. Uh, and again, uh, nothing bigger than what's gonna fit on a spoon. Okay, so I've got, this is just one carrot. It's kind of a large carrot, but whatever. It's quarantine, get your veggies, right? And then with my celery, I'm just gonna rip these right down the middle. And then cut this stuff down into half crescents. Got those, and then I've got an onion as well that still has the uh, both ends. So again, this is the side that would grow out of the ground. I'm leaving the root end attached so that when I dice this up, um, it'll hold together. So that is our, our plan. Our layer here, it's fighting me a little bit. Layer. And I'm not going to do the whole onion, I'm only going to use half of it for my soup. Leave that stem, uh, or sorry, leave the root in attached so it'll hold this whole thing together, and then we can run back through and get these nice little diced onions. I don't want a big bite of uh, onion with my soup. I don't mind the, the chunk of celery or the chunk of carrot, but I don't necessarily want a big chunk of onion. So, all right, so we get our veg here, and then I got one more little thing that's gonna go in the mix, some garlic here. I'll just give this a little pop, and then chop this down, okay? So, that is our uh, veggie component there. Next, I've got chicken here I'm not sure oh, sorry getting ahead of this all right <clears throat> a little bit of chicken here this does have a bit of fat on it that I don't want so I'll trim some of that fat it's a big chunk here so, get rid of that fat Okay, 
we are back. I have got my uh, veggies and my chicken and my stock here and a little bit of extra onion we don't need. Uh, so I am gonna get this on. I'm gonna give this just a little drink of oil, just enough to basically coat the bottom of the pan. And then I have my wooden spoon. This is called the lefty. So as far as us left-handed people. I think my mother-in-law got this for me. So thank you for that. So, all right, we'll get this hot. And what we're looking for is the oil. Uh, when we tilt our pan, the oil, well, two things. One, the oil, you're gonna see like a little, uh, sort of, it's gonna be extra shiny and it's gonna also have like a little, uh, little ripples to it. And then also we can run this around the pan really, really quickly. So. I get this on high right now to get it hot and then I'll adjust it. One of the mistakes that I see a lot of people making when they cook is that there's two settings. There's off or high. So remember, you have a whole uh, array of temperature choices between high and off. So feel free to utilize some of those, all right? Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna start with my uh, chicken and just get this right in the pan, okay? And then we're gonna just cook this until uh, there's no, no pink, okay? And then we'll add in our veggies. We are back, we have our chicken uh, cooked partially. It's not all the way done. There's probably still a little bit of pink left on the inside, but I don't wanna dry this out either. So we've got our uh, mix of vegetables here. So our carrots, our celery, and onions. So we're gonna get that in and give this a saute. And what I'm trying to do here is just render some of the moisture out of these. And then uh, my identifier or my goal, what I'm looking for here is for the onions to be translucent. And what I mean by that is they start to become transparent and I can see through them, okay? So that's my goal. I'm gonna leave this on the heat. At this point though, I am gonna add in a little bit of uh, just Italian seasoning. So we'll just give that a little shot there. And then I'll salt this at the end. Uh, and the reason why is because I don't want to make it too salty. We have our um, veggies sweating down here. Again, our goal is just to soften these up a little bit, draw some of the moisture out, uh, and then get those onions where they're starting to become transparent. So while that's doing its thing, uh, this is the stock that we made the other day. And you can see in these jars, there's a little bit of fat floating on top. And I don't want to put that into my soup. so. I'm just gonna run it through, uh, run it through this uh, colander here real quick and get out those chunks of fat. I should have got a bigger bowl. This is uh, a bit small. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just add this to my soup and then I'll come back in a minute. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I know what I'm doing, but like, you think you have it figured out, and then when you start doing it in front of the camera. You don't know what you're doing, but I guess that's my uh, my message is that even the best laid out plan uh, sometimes isn't the best laid out plan. But whatever. Okay, so I've got my um, my mix here pretty well cooked down. Uh, I also have uh, a little bit of cornstarch here uh, for the end because in my house we don't. We like soup, uh, but I don't like it super thin. Uh, so I'm going to add uh, a little bit of cornstarch, a little cornstarch slurry right at the end. Uh, and this stock is actually really great. Okay. Again, this was uh, from one chicken. I made this stock from just one chicken, so. Instead of cracking open a thing of uh, chicken stock from the store, which also at this time right now with the uh, quarantine and the social isolation and all of that, uh, some of the stocks are kind of hard to get if you don't get there at the right time. So uh, anyhow, make your own stock, save the bones, do that thing. All right, so I've got this in the mix. I'm just gonna bring this up to a simmer, let this all kind of come together. Uh, I'll give it a taste. I'll hit it with some salt and pepper if it needs it. Maybe a little more seasoning, I'm not sure. From time to time, I will shoot a little shot of uh, sriracha in there too. 
uh, and then we'll check the, the texture and if we want, we might thicken this up with a little bit of uh, cornstarch. One other thing, if you want to do a chicken noodle, uh, you can do that. We're, we're going to have our, our carbs and our bread today, so I'm not going to put noodles in this. Maybe for the kids I will, but what I typically do when I do chicken noodle soup is I'll boil the noodles separate and then I'll add them to the bowl and then put the broth on top because I don't like having the leftover soup with the noodles that are super squishy and gross unless you're into that sort of thing. So uh, you can always cook noodles and add those separately or you can cook it right in the broth. Either way, whatever makes you happy. All right, Falcons, we'll be back in a little bit.